Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, and we are on day 2057 of our trek. Establishing good habits is imperative for living a godly life. And one habit that I practice nearly every day of the past 45 plus years of my adult life is to read a chapter in the book of Proverbs that corresponds to the day of the month. This single habit has been the catalyst for gaining wisdom and creating a living legacy. Adopting this habit can do the same for your life. The realization that God's wisdom is the only true wisdom drives me to seek out God's wisdom each day. And there's no better way to do this than to meditate on God's book of wisdom. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge. So we are on our daily trek to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. The Book of Proverbs, Chapter 17 Better a dry crust eaten in peace than a house filled with feasting and conflict. A wise servant will rule over a master's disgraceful son and will share the inheritance of the master's children. Fire tests the purity of silver and gold, but the Lord tests the heart. Wrongdoers eagerly listen to gossip. Liars pay close attention to slander. Those who mock the poor insult their maker. Those who rejoice at the misfortune of others will be punished. Grandchildren are a crowning glory of the aged. Parents are the pride of their children. Eloquent words are not fitting for a fool. Even less are lies fitting for a ruler. A bribe is like a lucky charm. Whoever gives one will prosper. Love prospers when a fault is forgiven, but dwelling on it separates close friends. A single rebuke does more for a person of understanding than a hundred lashes on the back of a fool. Evil people are eager for rebellion, but they will be severely punished. It is safer to meet a bear robbed of her cubs than to confront a fool caught in foolishness. If you repay good with evil, evil will never leave your house. Starting a quarrel is like opening a floodgate, so stop before a dispute breaks out. Acquitting the guilty and condemning the innocent, both are detestable to the Lord. It is senseless to pay to educate a fool, since he has no heart for learning. A friend is always loyal, and a brother is born to help in a time of need. It's poor judgment to guarantee another person's debt, or to put up security for a friend. Anyone who loves to quarrel loves sin. Anyone who trusts in high walls invites disaster. The crooked heart will not prosper. The lying tongue troubles into trouble. It is painful to be a parent of a fool. There is no joy for the father of a rebel. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. The wicked take secret bribes to pervert the course of justice. Sensible people keep their eyes glued on wisdom, but a fool's eyes wanders to the end of the earth. Foolish children bring grief to their father and bitterness to the one that gave them birth. It is wrong to punish the godly for being good or to flog leaders for being honest. A truly wise person uses few words. A person of understanding is even-tempered. Even a fool is thought wise when they keep silent. With their mouth shut, they seem intelligent. And today as you ponder on Proverbs chapter 17, please encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, Listen intentionally, learn continuously, then to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.